Barangay Talon is one of the 47 barangays of Roa City, classified as a rural community, despite it being in close proximity to the city center. It has a total land area of 713.44 hectares, with a total population of 2,138. It is in fact an island connected by a land bridge to the mainland. Most families thrive on fishing and oyster culture, which can barely feed an average family of five to six children. It is, in fact, one of the poorest communities in the city and one of those with the highest incidence of malnutrition and grade school dropouts. Being a coastal area, it was hardly hit by the recent Typhoon Frank, which has wrought havoc to the entire island of Panay. It left Barangay Talon in a very sorry state, with most of its houses totally damaged. The Rotary Club of Rojas was one of the first non-governmental organizations in Roa City who have responded to the needs of those badly hit by Typhoon Frank last June 21, 2008. The club managed to raise funds initially from within the club and later to friends in other areas of the Philippines and abroad. Food, water, and clothing were distributed to many coastal areas of Roa City, particularly Talon and Ulutayan Islands. After a few months, the club, through a joint effort with the Barangay Government of Talon, started its rehabilitation program in the area through the Lapis Cad Papel program by distributing notebooks and pencils to school children in Talon. One of the problems that we were confronted was a huge dropout rate, particularly in grades 1 and 2 classes. Upon further scrutiny, we found out that these school kids were not able to manage to walk to school because they were hungry and had nothing at home to eat. Thus, the club initiated the school-based feeding program to address this need. We were able to solicit funds for food, and we were able to arrange with the city mayor to make the government rice available for purchase and distribution. We were toured by the school head and the barangay captain to the different areas of the barangay, from whom we knew that most of their fishing vessels and contraptions were totally devastated. Initially, we offered them some 50 chicks to raise, and hopefully to start off a livelihood program, but this were only enough to get them by with hunger. Then came the idea of putting up a vegetable garden. The barangay captain, who himself is a Rotarian, offered to lend their private lots to the barangay, to the people for that purpose. The club shelled out money for them to buy gardening tools and seedlings. The project turned out to be a success, which was able to provide many families with a source of income aside from food provisions to their respective households. In September, ABS-CBN, through their Bayan Ni Juan project, and Sagip Kapamilya approached our club and partnered with us for a six-month feeding program in Barangay Talon. After several meetings with the club, the joint feeding program was launched in September 11, 2008 which benefited 180 identified undernourished kids in Barangay Talon. The launching was attended also by the government of Capiz and representatives from the UNICEF who also contributed school packages for the Talon school children. At this time, also, a jetmatic pump was installed by the club and inaugurated which now serves 30 households. Incidentally, during the visit of both ABS-CBN and Rotary Club of Rojas, we were able to discover a kid with a heart problem, the Tralogy of Palo, whom ABS-CBN Foundation sponsored evaluation and surgery at the Philippine General Hospital in Manila. ABS-CBN also offered our club with food packs that we can give to those taking care of the vegetable gardens through their Food for Work program. This month, the club is starting a computer literacy center in the school. It has donated two brand new computers with printers and will be donating more units before the classes start in June. Monthly monitoring is being conducted in the area by both ABS-CBN and our club, and a post-feeding program evaluation was conducted recently, which showed significant improvement in all nutrition parameters. It has also improved markedly the daily school attendance.